My talk was essentially about the intersection between humanity and technology and how at the core of that um, will be a way that we can start to create meaningful solutions that actually impact our communities in Africa, um, but more importantly allow us to take our, our, our space on the international stage. Um, so I spoke about a few things and I think the primary thing was that uh, for us to be able to really understand the power of technology, um, we need to get back to the essence of what humanity is all about. Um, and specifically, um, you know, things like tragedies and natural disasters that uh, really help us to band together as human beings and get through hard times. Um, that allows us, number one, a level of empathy so we can identify with somebody else, um, but fundamentally creates an environment for us to want to solve problems and want to help out. Um, technology specifically, I believe, um, you know, is a means to an end, uh, and the end for me is, uh, is kind of a holistic approach as far as development is concerned. I spoke a bit about Facebook as well, um, as far as what our plans are, um, and the reality that we've launched in the market quite recently, um, and that we'll be building out solutions for the next 10 years. The first one to three years, we've achieved a critical mass through Facebook getting to 1.4 billion users. Um, and Instagram will be in market quite uh, quite shortly, literally in the next two or three months. Um, and we're finding that's really amazing opportunities for advertisers and marketers. Um, in the next three to five years, we're looking at opening up uh, Insta, um, sorry, WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger as far as commercial platforms are concerned. And there's going to be really a host of opportunities there for brands to get involved. And in the five to ten year window, um, we're looking at Oculus um, as how that's going to revolutionize the way people share uh, information. Uh, so primarily that's, that's Facebook's uh, standpoint. And I think you know, consumers are really going to be faced with two choices. Um, and that's for them to be able to react to the products and services that are being produced for them. But there's a dual responsibility for marketers um, to be producing and selling products that fundamentally um, impact and lift the human condition uh, for Africans in general. So that was a kind of a brief overview of what I spoke about. I think there's, an, there's, a, there's a dual responsibility. So I think this is an ecosystem and I think brands um, have got the ability to influence mass messaging. Um, and when our mass messaging starts to fall in line in the principles of what is right, there's a way to, to backward influence that process. Um, the reality is that goods and products and services still need to produ be produced and economies rely on that. Um, the question is, are marketers really asking the questions about how these things are being produced, where they're being produced, and if they're done in such a way that it's kind of gonna have a, a, a net positive benefit. Yeah, and I think that's a shared responsibility Responsibility. I, by no stretch of the imagination, think that marketing is completely, um, you know, the only people responsible. There's going to be a dual um, responsibility. But I think as custodians of the message to the mass market, um, they can really stand in a position of authority when it comes to those matters.